Well, I decided to study art um, right from when I was in primary six. In fact, that was my first contact with art. Um, I discovered I could not read fluently and I could not speak fluently. But I'm somebody that likes expressing myself. So I expressed myself from caricatures I made then. And one thing that I observed where I, when I did those caricatures was that they connected to my story and emotions. When I, whenever I do those little drawings, I say people could connect with me from those drawings. I actually became interested in portraiture so much um, when I came across the work of Rembrandt. As I say, the Night Watch and then his self-portrait. The works of Anderson, John Singer Sargent, yes. That was what really took me into portraiture because originally I painted still lifes and landscapes, but really, really, really became so interested in portraiture after seeing the works of these great masters. Most of the models I use, some are people I know, some are people I don't know. But one thing I do is that I interact with my models a lot. So if I see somebody for the first time, I try to meet you. We talk at length, like I try to get questions like your sex life, your, your education, general things about you. It helps me paint better, it helps me understand my subject. Sometimes I paint from photographs, sometimes I paint from life, but I do a lot of life studies because I feel can easily get what I want from life if I now go into painting them from photographs. Young people are energetic, like they have this energy flowing in them. They want to explore the world. So I feel they have a lot of stories to tell. So that's why I, I feel it's important for me as an artist to, to document these processes. And that's why I choose using younger people. I feel women portray more of emotions than men. I don't, I don't mean that men don't have emotions. No, I'm not saying that. I feel women show it more. Where I'm from, they'll tell you men shouldn't show their emotions and all of those things. That women should do that. But so that's why I, I, I prefer using women because they don't hide their feelings at all. Unlike men that tend to swallow them up. So I feel my portraitures pass through some level of um, psychology or psychic conversations because I tend to capture a moment and capture the gestures of my, my subjects. That way we get to better understand them and understand what they are going through and passing through at that point in time. Yeah, I would say I observe them because after deep conversations with my character, I put myself in their shoes to know why they feel the way they feel, why they act the way they act and why they are seated in a particular position the way they are. It could be out of rage, it could be out of sadness, happiness, or whatever the reasons are. It gives me a better edge to paint them better and portray them perfectly and say the truth about them. I use thicker layers of paint to, to create textures and sometimes I use lean paint depending on what I want to create. So it's a blend of thick paints, lean paints and all of those. I use oil on canvas to, to paint. That is my preferred medium of painting. I would say a lot of artists really inspired me. Artists like um, Jeremy Lipking, John Singer Sargent, um, Rembrandt, and Anderson has really inspired me so much. My mentor who taught me, Dennis Annie and Danny Valentine, they did incredible works to my growth as an artist. My name is Okoye Chukwemeka John. And this is me taking you into my studio and explaining to you why I do what I do and why I paint what I paint.